California teacher is living her dream of visiting the stratosphere. She was selected by NASA to conduct research from high in the sky and then bring her real world experience back to the classroom. Bridget Barolo has details on the flight. A stairway to the stratosphere. I want to see what what our what our planet looks like from that high up. We are in the cockpit. A 50,000 foot climb that Domina Stamis has been waiting more than one year to make. My flight week originally was May of 2020 and then COVID hit. So we've been just waiting for the opportunity. NASA handpicked the Sacramento area science teacher to gather research aboard this Boeing 747 SP aircraft nicknamed the Sophia. Using a telescope with infrared technology to take pictures of the universe from high in the sky. At earlier uh, last year, Sophia actually discovered water on the sun side of the moon. And it also discovered that Pluto has a very active atmosphere. So Pluto is a planet, guys. <laughs> Domina is one of 28 other educators chosen for the mission, the first group to take flight since 2019 before the COVID-19 pandemic grounded the project. She plans to take her training and experience back to her students at Westlake Charter High School in Natomas, where she hopes to spark their interest in a science-based career. It's my job, actually. Um, I am an airborne astronomy ambassador, so it's, it's my mission to educate not only my students about the SOFIA telescope, but about anybody and everybody that I can that I can reach until then she'll be spending the night in this cockpit savoring a memory that for Domina truly feels out of this world 10 years ago I, I put it out to my friends I was like one day I want to work for NASA and though I'm not getting paid through NASA I'm getting paid through experiences and this to me just seems just as good as being an employee of NASA